Welcome to the Leo full moon. We've got these three today. The Magi card, which says reconcile differences below it. The Wolf card, Earth element. And the Knight of Cups, which is the Eglantine Rose in this deck. So let's start with, start with the Eglantine Rose. So this is a beautiful, wonderful smelling rose with these little thorns on them. And the eglantine is said to be the wound that needs to be healed. And that is perfectly encompassed with also these little hips that it has, the eglantine rose hips. They are packed with vitamin C. So you can make a tea out of it, and that is good for the immunity. It's good for building up all kinds of body tissue and nerves and blood vessels in our body and collagen, helping us retain iron in our system. Overall, vitamin C, integral part to our health. And this beautiful rose offers us that type of healing through its rose hips and also through its beauty and its smell, but it has these thorns. So it is something to be cautious around and careful around. And it has these shoots that come out from the base of it. So it can really take over a whole area if it wants to. So the Knight of Cups, Cups being water element and the knight being active masculine, but not ascended like the king. So it's still figuring out how to actively move emotions, how to actively understand the wounds within us that need to be healed and to understand that perhaps we can be a source of our own frustration, pain, stress, anxiety, all of these things, and how we can also be what can move us past anything, stress, anxiety, pain, all of these things. All of these things are just a part of our individual being that gives us an opportunity to really acknowledge ourselves, to see ourselves, and to choose how we want to maneuver through this world. How do we want to maneuver through all of the triggers, through all of the pain, all of the, all of the things that come up for us at any given time that send us into some kind of emotional spiral? It's very easy for that to happen for us as humans. We are very emotional creatures. And whether, whether we're stuffing down these emotions or not is dependent on who you are. But the necessity is to understand that we all have an opportunity to heal, but we can't heal if we are not um, really focused on ourselves and like what are the emotional things that are coming up for us? How are we moving emotional energy through our life, through our bodies, so on and so forth? So this card really wants us to like take an active look at how we are managing our emotions, actively looking at how we're managing our reactions, like what is happening to us, and understand that we have the ability to heal whatever is happening to us, but it really requires a ton of self-reflection and a ton of awareness and understanding and critical awareness, that is, of how we are manifesting and utilizing our emotions. They're constantly coming up for us. The, the chemicals are moving through our body. And oftentimes, if we're not careful and we're not paying attention, that's what leads us into ill health, into dis-ease, is because we're not paying attention to the signals that our body is giving us. And a lot of time, these signals can come at the beginning in the shape of an emotion. And if we can catch these emotions, if we're willing to understand them, to analyze them and dissect them and willing to actively pursue changing them, especially if we're dealing with things like anger, sadness, uh, um, 
any any kind of frustrating emotion that is difficult to deal with the question is can we find the support that we need in order to facilitate the time and space needed to understand ourselves and be able to wade through these emotions so that we can hopefully heal these wounds and move into a healthier space overall now that i think comes with this blue card so blue very deep blue so it's very much throat chakra and that's that's this uh, center point between the upper chakras and the lower chakras where we are emitting our vibrational energy actively through the throat chakras how we're manifesting all of the creative energy that comes from lower and all of the uh, astral energy that's coming from above and this is how we're pushing our energy out and reconciling differences i think is incredibly important right now and i'm not saying that in respect to the necessity to uh like break your back trying to reconcile differences with people who are unwilling or unable to uh meet you there in some form of compromise but i mean reconciling differences like in a broader sense in the sense that um we can acknowledge that everything exists that everything has a polar opposite in this reality because we live in a polarized duality system where there where we perceive there to be good and bad up and down all bad you know like evil not evil you know but in reality it's all one thing and we're gonna be coming into the time where even if you don't really like fully grasp what that means that everything is one that there is no such thing as good and evil because we're just so used to being polarized that we haven't been able to really step outside of that reality and understand that everything exists and if the highest of the high, the best of the best, the goodest of the good exist in this reality, that means that the opposite has to exist because it's working together to give us experiences. And so we're all experiencing everything and we can understand that some people are experiencing different things than us and we can take care for that and we can be willing to understand that people are experiencing things different than us it doesn't mean that we have to like necessarily be okay with everything that everybody's doing because a lot of things are affecting us really disastrously not just us but like the entire world and so but we still are all here together we're here on this planet together for those people who are going to go to mars best of luck but i am adapted to this planet and this is the planet that i would like to reconcile my differences with this is people who choose to be invested in this ecological space are who we're reconciling with and and sometimes reconciling differences is just acknowledging that this is not where i want to be this is not the energy that i want to be around or or this is what i want to be investing in more and i want to put my energy into that or i want to at least try to understand where you're coming from if i try to understand where you're coming from then there's more likely of a chance that you could try and understand where i'm coming from and if not I can understand when to remove my energy from a situation because you can still reconcile a difference without having to be right, without having to control everybody, without having to control everything. Like we all have the opportunity to uh, accept that this is the world that we live in and this is what we're doing with it and how are we going to be bringing what is for the highest good to the best of our ability that is our job in this and so we have to be putting that energy out there in whatever way shape or form that manifests for us whatever is our purpose whatever it is that we choose to do to be showing up to this world 
in the best way possible is going to require the use the use of understanding ourselves of understanding how we fit into this reality and moving the energy forward and then we've got the wolf which i think uh re-solidifies this message of the magi card and the wolf you know we get this idea of alpha from actually the study of wolves in captivity and how they reacted when they're in captivity but if you really look at wolves in their natural state doing what they naturally do they run in packs they're friendly that it's the pack leader tends to be the one that is looking out for all of the pack not just the one that shits on everybody and like fights and gets the most food you know it's not it's the way that <laughs> the way that like male podcasters and things with their alpha male talk they need to chill because they don't even really understand but i encourage anybody to look up the studies on wolves and where the idea of alpha male came from and the fact that that's not actually how wolves move wolves move in packs working together strategic in hunting and in finding places to stay and caring for each other wolves are magnificent creatures and they really like symbolically speaking they're very territorial so we're thinking about our boundaries we're thinking about how we are creating boundaries for ourselves so that we again like we can reconcile differences without having to bend ourselves over backwards and to f like lose ourselves in trying to make everything peaceful for everybody that's not the point of right now the point is who are we working with who do we want to be working with how are we investing our energy how are we respecting our own boundaries how are we reconciling our differences so that we're not carrying extra stress of shit that we can't control and how are we allowing ourselves to heal our emotional wounds in order to live the life that we deserve to be living like how can we really take good care of ourselves and understand how to actively see how we are emotionally developing and how we are emotionally reacting so that we can ultimately give ourselves what we need to heal from whatever comes up because shit's going to keep coming up we're not going to we're not going to be able to bypass the fact that the world is going to keep coming at us and things are going to keep changing all we can do is ride the waves and to ride those emotional waves takes a, a fair amount of consciousness and support we can't do it on our own we have to work together and working together means that we have to invest in each other and we have to be kind to each other and if we cannot muster that kind of kindness and understanding and willingness to see each other's perspective then we remove ourselves we remove our energy so that we can so that we can heal ourselves to whatever degree we need to heal in order to be surrounded by the energy that we want to, to invest in in our lives. So take this time to really understand yourself and your emotions and your boundaries and understand how you're emitting your energy right now because we need each other and we have to work together. And so it's really, really important that we do this work on ourselves so that we can show up for each other so blessings to your full moon in leo and i'll see you next time